I told him the internet went down. Wait, in that stream, can you go back to the one? Nope, it's done. Okay, well, it looks like we got disconnected, so we're back now. I do apologize for that. I don't know how much y'all missed, but um, our internet has been in and out. Maybe that's part of the reason why we're looking at a new home. <laughs> uh, so, um, yeah. So hopefully y'all will come back over, over to here and get all caught up with what I'm doing. Hi, Maylin. Hey, Car yes, I am back. Hopefully the internet does not disconnect again. I don't know if it's this time of day or what the deal is, but sometimes even when I'm trying to edit videos or I'm trying to upload videos at this time of day, it just is not, not my friend. If I, I mean, and I don't know if it's Friday because it's Friday or what the deal is. I don't know. So, so we'll just keep on continuing to color. I don't know why I got disconnected. So I got three of you. <laughs> I got three of you. Okay, so what I did is I had my W5 and my W7. Come back in with my W9 now. That's my darkest. That's going to be my darkest shade. I guess you got to have some amazing internet to keep doing videos, live videos for sure. I don't know what the deal is. So now he looks really dark on there. <laughs> no, it was me. I, Yeah, just coloring the little bear's head, which is actually quite a significant part, really, if you think about it. But um, yeah, sorry about that, everybody. I don't know what's what the deal is with our internet. But isn't he a little cutie? Hey, Janet. No, nope, don't panic. It's just me. It's our internet. It does weird things. Um, as I was saying earlier, that sometimes I'll see if I can splice these videos together for future people that want to see it. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I'm so sometimes technologically challenged when it comes to this kind of stuff. Well, thank you. Yeah, well, thanks. I'm sorry. I hate that. Yeah, he... He is just a darling little bear. So I was asking, what is everybody up to this weekend? Anybody doing anything fun? Um, and I was mentioning that we are actually going to be doing some house hunting. I, like I said, I know that seems a little crazy if you know since y'all know that we're a military family but we want to put down some roots somewhere and this just might be the place okay so i'm actually pretty happy with how he is yeah some of that color bled over but we're gonna use okay for his little paws i am going to use e34 and E39. So we'll use these. You're crafting. All right, Mary. Yay. Cards, of course. Yeah. Is there any other thing to do? I've got so many cards to catch up on. There's so much stuff going on in the next couple weeks. So, um, right. anybody uh, moving furniture, prepping for getting flooring installed? Ooh, five years of concrete. Oh, bless you. Yep. And that is a process to move all your stuff for them to put in flooring. Oh, my goodness. Oh, a canvas and coffee. I've done. No, I haven't done that. My daughter's done it. I've always wanted to do that. House hunting will be fun. <laughs> you want a house hunt? Yeah. Well, we sold our house in Columbus back in like, I think it was 2014. Or, yeah. And then we moved into a little tiny apartment for, and we only had like lawn chairs for a little while. Um, so we're excited it's been it's been a, a minute since we've looked for housing so we are excited thank you we're gonna have a good time i think if nothing else we'll enjoy some coffee just the two of us and the realtor <laughs> and then maybe we'll see some stuff we like and maybe we won't all right so as far as my shadowing and shading we have to move foster dog to one place 
Oh, yeah, you probably do. Yep. That's sweet that you foster. My daughter helped foster some kittens one time with the neighbor. And it was such a fun experience for her. Okay, so we have now colored our little bear. I'm going to give him some pink ears or some pink to the inside of the ears. Did I miss anything else? All right. All right, his scarf now. Let's do his scarf. We're going to do some oranges. So I want YR04 and YR18. All right. So I'm only using two colors for the scarf. You could definitely, because it's big enough, you could definitely do a third color. But um, retired racing greyhounds. Greyhounds are such beautiful dogs. I knew somebody in my small town that had a greyhound for a little while. <laughs> Nina, you have nothing better to do. Well, I feel honored <laughs> that you would stick around. Okay, let's bring that in a little bit. And I've said this before, I like to kind of not always go to the edge because it kind of gives the illusion that there's rounded things. And fostering is definitely, that is very rewarding. And it's funny because the kittens weren't even in our home, but it, I mean, just to see my daughter's face and how happy she was to get to do some fostering with the neighbor. And it was sweet of her to include my daughter. So she came over and she would help feed them and clean them up. And it was just fun. All right, so I think our little bear's done. Now we're gonna move on to the owl. The owl, we are gonna use those same colors that we did for the inside of the paws here. So that's gonna be some E34 and E39. You're getting rain, okay, all right. Is it gonna be cold rain? You said you're in Southern California, right? So, I mean, rain's good. Rain is good. All right, this little owl is darling too. Can't get over the cuteness of these little animals. We um, actually we could probably not use rain, but uh, it'd be nice to have just a little bit to make sure that when they repaired the roof the other day that <laughs> it's not leaking anymore. We had a leak from South Central PA. All right, what's up girl? Yeah, we had a leak in our bathroom and thankfully it was over the tub because it took them uh, forever to come and fix that. That was a process. That was a process. But you know what, it's really sunny out there right now. Uh, I was out and about, I had to get some lab work taken care of and I thought I better get back in time. So I did, I did, all's well, okay. And I'm just blending out here with that lighter color. Oh, earlier today, sunshine in north, northern, oh goodness, plus two. That's, that's still pretty dang cold, isn't it? <laughs> in Alberta, wow. Well, thanks for joining us today. Um, yeah, we, earlier today, I was trying to get some stuff done in Max, so Max is the, darker faced Siamese that we have, he would not leave me alone. It was to the point where I was like, well, I know cats can tell if you are having a health issue. Am I having a heart attack? And I just don't know it. <laughs> I know that's so crazy, but it's true. I was like, what is happening? Um, he was so defiant. He just would not allow me to do anything. All right, we're going to use some bees for his hat because, I'll, and I'll tell you why, or I'll show you why if I can find them all. So we're using B37 and B39. Where's my B39? Had it out. Hmm. Okay. B69. I wish I could show you the marker holder that my stepdad made me. It is incredible. Okay, well, I can't seem to find it, so we're gonna we're gonna go a different route. I've got B37, and let's do. Actually, let's do B18 and B29. Let's find those. 
Here's B29, and let's find B18 right here. Much easier to find. Okay. And then we'll just color the hat like that. So, like I said, we're doing some house hunting, and I could not be more excited. Haven't done that. The well, last time we actually bought a house was in 2004. Or was it 2005? 2004. So it has been a while. And so it's going to be fun to do some hunting. I did find a color. Yay! Wasn't the color I had intended originally, but it'll work. And then for the little mushrooms, we're going to use some... R39 and RV69. And I'm going to obviously go out of the lines a bunch. Right? Oh my goodness. I just could not understand. He was being so defiant. I would get him down off of a counter, and he has this cute little growl he does where he goes, and then he just jumped right back up. And I thought, what is happening? Like, why are you being this way? He was so needy. And then I'd get him up on my lap and he wouldn't settle down. It's like he wanted to be up there. Yeah, I need to just take a picture and I'll post it on my Instagram, actually. That's what I'll do. I'm going to do that. I'm going to post it on my Instagram so that you can see how incredible this marker holder is. Because he, I just kind of said, hey, I just want a few slots to hold markers. And he just made his own thing. And it is fabulous. So it's even got little slants to it. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. So as I was saying, yeah, Max was up on my lap and he wanted to be up there, but then he wouldn't settle down. So all he would do is like bite at my necklace or my ring. And I don't even really wear jewelry. Anybody who knows me knows I just love, you know, my ring and my necklace, but you know, I'd much rather you spend money on craft supplies for me than like jewelry. <laughs> so... Okay, so that's a great question, Maylin. Uh, as far as planning my cards, usually, you know, you're going to think it's funny. Unless it's an assignment. You know, obviously an assignment is something I just have to do. When I am wanting to play around with something, I will look at what I haven't necessarily used yet. And go from there. So, like, I hadn't used this stamp set. Even though this is a fall stamp set. I was like, you know, I haven't used that stamp set. I'm going to use that. So I start with whatever my stamp set is, whatever those are. Uh, yeah, I will have to give a tour of my craft space, maybe in a new home. Um, but I'll do that. And then I will, if I'm not really inspired with color, like I'm not sure what colors to use, I'll go to Pinterest. I will go to Pinterest and I will just type in like, let's say I'm looking for a winter theme. I'll type in winter theme cards. Like I made a bunch of Valentine's cards coming up here. But I didn't necessarily want to use all traditional Valentine's, so I was looking at non-traditional. And that was really, really helpful. So um, that is one way. And then as far as layouts go, if I'm still stumped on what kind of a layout I want to do, <laughs> you could have emptied Tiffany's with what you've spent on craft supplies. Yes. <laughs> Me too. Oh my goodness. Maybe my husband would be happier if I was into jewelry. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, all right, you know, actually for the tree, what did I have? I do have E4-3 and E4. Um, yeah, so I will go, I will go and check out Pinterest for even layout ideas. And usually get a lot of inspiration that way. And I want these to just be like white birch, so I'm just kind of doing some flicking color on there. This is with the E4-3. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, James, what do you think? Would you rather I be interested in jewelry? Would that be cheaper? <laughs> yes, a guest room. Absolutely, Mary. You will have to come visit. We saw one today that maybe in our price range that had five bedrooms. I was like, are you kidding me? You know, I'm, yeah, just shocked. I think it's because we're in Alabama, but I'll take it. Aw, oh, thanks, James. Yeah, isn't that neat? They did a fun video. I look really old in that video. Uh, I guess you guys know why I don't do a lot of, well, actually, the real reason I don't do a lot of, like, here's my face <laughs> videos 
is because I don't always put makeup on and um, oftentimes my clothes don't match. I don't know if anybody watched last week's and noticed uh, my pants, <laughs> my pants were so out there. Oh my gosh. They were crazy. Like, I think they were like some LuLaRoe or something like that I'd gotten from a friend on Uber clearance when she was selling her business. And so I was like, yeah, I don't care. Those will be around the house pants. Well, <sighs> hey, Mariska, what's up, girl? Yeah, so, um, yeah, I don't match all the time, which is why you don't really see me. Or if you see me like waist up, you know, there's no guarantee the pants I'm wearing are matching. <laughs> if I don't have to go out that day, it's probably not happening. So there you go. Ooh, wouldn't that be nice? Three bedrooms for a big craft room, you know? If I could get my husband on board with that. I think I'd have to make a little bit more money doing this in order for him to be like, sure, let's do that. But I remember when I first got started stamping. Oh, they're watching, waiting for the boys to appear. I don't know, James, are they sleeping? Are the boys asleep right now? Because if they aren't, you should send them on in here. They all have crafts of some sort. That's funny. Well, that's true. At least I did have pants on. You're right. <laughs> oh, well, I did have to put some on the other day. Well, for that video. And clearly, I didn't remember what I was doing. But yeah. So if you haven't seen that video, you can go check out all the, the new people. Oh, they're sleeping. Bummer. Um, maybe we could wake them up for Mariska's girls, huh? That'd be sweet. Just bring them in here for a little prop. Just to come say hi. What do you think, James? Come on, they can sleep later. It's not like... Oh, well, thankfully, Barbara, because you'd be very disappointed. Or you might be really um, entertained, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, so we've got everything colored. Now we're going to do matching dyes. All right. Well, Mariska, maybe we can all convince him to wake them up and bring him in here. Max is awake. Ooh, Max is awake. The little, he was quite a little pistol earlier, I'll tell you. Oh, do we have, oh, my daughter's bringing Max in. Hey, Max, you want to come say hi? What do you think, buddy? <laughs> huh, you can come say hi to everybody? Huh? Oh, I should probably zoom you out now. Let's zoom you out. And here is Miles. Max is like, okay, I'm still tired. And I think Miles is probably going to be pretty tired, too. Yeah, what do you think, buddy? Do you want to say hi to the girls? Nope. <laughs> there, I think they're, thank you, Maddie. <laughs> I know it wasn't much, guys. Normally, that you should have seen them earlier. Oh, my goodness. If they, ugh, I was ready to give one of them away, that's for sure. Because I was like, guys, I just have to get a few things done. Yes, they absolutely have. In fact, this morning they woke us up. I don't know what it is with Siamese. I don't know. Maybe all cats are like that. But uh, these boys, they are really good. at. Like, if they want you awake, they will do something. Whether it be, like, dig at the covers, try and knock your phone off, get into the blinds. And, and because they are so all over the place, we have to keep them in the bedroom with us. I just don't trust them. Miles is a all over the place cat. Like he, we call him our bruiser because he just goes in and just full force will tear stuff up. Like, oh, I've got some scary stories of that cat, like just about hanging himself from his paws off of something because he really just wanted, I'm afraid he's going to jump into the ceiling fan one of these times because he just wants to see if he can catch on. <laughs> Oh, your cats are lazy. <laughs> Someday these babies will be too, I'm sure of it. But for now, not so much. I know you're probably wondering, why do I cut these down? Uh, I have the big Gemini, so that's why I do that. It's just easier for me. Sometimes the Gemini, I try to save that just for my bigger dies that I have to cut. Like this one, maybe. That one might need it. Um, but we'll just cut all these out. And then we'll start doing our assembly. Cookie and Cammy are all over the place and running like small horses. Yes! And it's sometimes I think it's a good thing that they have the bells on them so that I can at least find them. But hey, Tracy, how are you? Tracy sent the sweetest card the other day. It was very, very sweet. 
my childhood cat always put us kids to sleep and then take off <laughs> because he wanted to be off to some mischief or what that's funny that's funny yeah miles is he's the bruiser but he's also the snuggler he's the one that likes to climb under the covers and like snuggle up to you and he whines like a little baby if somebody's not sitting down and he's ready for a nap it's funny okay what's kind of fun about these pink and main dies is that they're pink for starters and i um, love that they're already cut out all right so i am making a slim line card i went ahead and stamped and colored all of our images um i figured i'd make a slim line winter card this is a fall stamp set but it's i thought it would be perfect for a winter card as well Oh, thank you, Tracy. Yeah, we're super, super proud of him. He has just found his niche um, in in the military in this spot. It's It has been wonderful to see, because I'll tell you, a couple years ago, it was not so much that way. We were just praying. It was a hard, I think it aged me 10 years, what he was going through in that part with the military. But I am so happy and thankful that he has found an area that he is really, really good at, so... He was scared. I know, I probably should start their own channel. That would be funny. He would scare the water meter guy by growling like a dog. Oh, that is hilarious. Oh my gosh. I think our boys have never met a stranger, so we have to have people come in all the time since we rent this place. And it is a little bit older, so there are problems on a on a regular basis, unfortunately. But um, So they come in and they fix things, and uh a channel yeah uh they come in and they fix things but the boys know them all they knew them all the moment they walked in the first time so they just i in fact a few times i have to put them away because they'll just try and be up in their business like when they were replacing parts of the ceiling i was like no guys this isn't going to work okay so that cut out really well that's so funny growling at the water meter guy i think my husband had a cat named peter actually he was a siamese and um Peter would act all loving to people that would come to the house and then he would sit on their lap and then if they tried to get up he'd growl at them. I guess that was his way of being protective like you're not going anywhere. So I think that's so funny. Animals just have such personalities. Yeah, the Max and Miles channel. <laughs> I think that would probably get a lot more views than my channel, that's for sure. <laughs> Although, I can't complain. I'm very, very grateful. Y'all are so good to me. Um, even when I think I'm not giving you guys some great... So what are some things that you guys would like to see? Is there anything different or new you would like to see on the channel? Uh, I mean, I can definitely try to do that. I've got a little more, a little more leeway these days. Putting in the work. That's right. Yep, been working out. It's all this crafting. Thanks, James. <laughs> I think, like I said, everybody would probably enjoy that a little better. That's so funny. Okay, so let's take our scraps and get rid of those. I think that's everything I need to trim out. And that worked well. All right. So to save a little bit of time, Alcohol inks. Did I miss something? Um, I'm not sure if I missed something. All right. So to save a little bit of time, I did go ahead and cut a few things out. I wanted to show you what I cut out and what I used. All right. So I used a few of these slimline dies. Now they're obviously not all pink and main, but I did use this one. I think this one is a great one. Clearly you wouldn't need that bigger one. Oh, you want to see alcohol inks? Oh, yeah, I did ask that, didn't I? Um, so I did use this big one to cut out some blue, navy blue, because that's going to be my night sky for the winter. Multimedia on canvas. Yes, yes, I have plans for that. I actually have some multimedia sitting right by my feet that I want to do. Um, but this die set has so many dies. I don't even know how many are in there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 dies. I've 
like watching you with the mixed media and making your own paper. Yes, I like working with pattern paper, so I enjoy watching you succeed at the mixed media stuff. Not brave. Oh, you need to be, Catherine. I'm telling you, it's so fun to just start playing. If you saw how much I messed up, have I thought about the Zoom session? Uh, I don't know that I've actually mastered YouTube. You didn't see I my internet gave out, and so we had to <laughs> we had to start over. <laughs> All right, so this one is where I cut out this piece and I use some sterling glitter stock. Oh, you did get the die set. Yeah, it has a ton of dies in it. It's definitely worth the money. And I'm gonna save this piece because I don't wanna waste any of it. And I'm just gonna use the silver piece because I think that would be a lot of fun. I wanted some white, but for whatever reason, I couldn't seem to find any of my white glitter stock. So that's what I used for that one. And then I wanted a snoopy, a snoopy, a snowy, hill for the background so I use this lawn cut this is the slimline stitched hillside borders it's got four in there and I used this one uh, and obviously it'll cut another one out this one has stitching this one won't so Simon how are you I have plans to use some of the new goodies on a future live oh yeah I finally got brave enough and decided to try it how are you Simon yeah Everybody loves some Simon. All right, I'm going to do some um, splatter on there because you all know I love some splatter. Okay. So for this, I'm going to use... And it... Oh, well, thanks, Mariska. I appreciate that. All right. I'm going to use this one. It's not linked down below, but I'm going to use this one because the other one isn't even available and I just feel terrible that I keep using it and no one can get a hold of it. So this is the Gonsai Tombi Starry Colors. <gasps> Are you Simon? Oh my gosh. Well, as soon as I saw all this new stuff, I was like, you, oh, you know you had my heart. So <laughs> Greyhound sticks their noses in the stuff. Oh yeah, now that is an issue when you're trying to do mixed media and the animals get up all in it. Lots of YouTube while doing so, I bet. Um, I'm going to go with some champagne gold for this one. So I just did a little spritz of water in there. Good, Mary. You're going to love it. I haven't had as much time to play just yet, but I just got mine the other day. And Well, hello. No worries. No one's late. It's all right. You can always catch up, and I'm glad you're here. So all I'm doing is doing a little bit of splatter on a background. Oh, how you, oh, you, you want a stamp set? That's so cool. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to go with that. And then I'm going to just kind of clean off my brush on the side here because I want to add some Picket Fences Distress Paint. Yeah, we are, we're lucky to have Simon in here. How fun is that? I feel quite honored that Simon Hurley stepped in on one of my lives. Oh, wait, I said I wanted to bring in some white. I got all flustered. Okay, so let's bring in some Picket Fences white paint. Stuff's been around forever and a day. So I'm just going to put a little... I love using Simon's inks. Oh my gosh. Love them. In fact, I may be teaching a class with them. I don't know if I'm supposed to say much. So... All right, so that's going to be our background. It's a little bit snowy, so since it's a winter scene. Do you clean your brush in the same way, Beth? Yes. Oh, the ice rink set. Isn't that fun? It makes me want to go to hockey games so bad. I miss hockey games. And I'm excited to hear what my nephew thinks of that card I made the other day, especially since I tried to build a scene with it. How are you, Don? Oh, a massage, girl. I would be taking a nap now. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so this is going to be our night sky. I think that's just going to work. It doesn't look like much now, but... Yes, we're playing with messy stuff. i got to incorporate some sort of splatter somehow. I haven't decided how far down I want that to go. Did you... Oh, Simon's inks. I love Simon's inks. I will not be upset if he comes out with more colors. 
All right, so I'm actually going to put this hill on there and then we're going to, you know, let's trim a little down first because this is clearly still wet. I just don't want to use my heat gun to dry things just yet. So, well, thank you, Beth. Yeah, it was a fun card to make. I'm going to cut off about, about that much, whatever that much is. Ooh, yeah, well, yeah. Driving an hour to get a massage, I think I'd be willing to do it. Of course, getting back in the car might make you... Oh, more colors coming soon. Yay, Simon. You're going to have a lot of happy people. I get so many comments about how amazing your inks are. And I won't say it if I don't mean it. So, what you making? I am making a slimline card. It is a winter slimline card. Just using some pink and main stamps because I hadn't used them yet. That's really what it comes down to. Somebody had asked me earlier, how do you pick what you're going to make? And I look at what I have, and if I haven't used it yet, it's got to get inked up. That's really what it comes to. Yes, leave our homes and do normal things. What is that? Normal things. Except for four. Those were sold out. Yeah, they do sell out. And the reinkers, yes. I highly suggest you get the reinkers, not because you're going to need, well, you are going to need them, but uh, because you're going to use them so much that you're just going to be like, yeah, I need the reinkers. Oh, the reinker bundles are on. That's nice. Okay, so I think I will. I'm going to just start putting a few things down. I've got to sort of place it. I think I'll I'll just have it all the way on there. That's what we'll do. Yes, more colors. I am super super excited. Um, you know, I only have so much ink storage space on my wall here because you know I've got my my um camera I've got other stuff on the wall but I, I only have so much ink storage space but Simon's inks are like right in the front I mean you guys know I use them all the time all the time okay so there we go oh they don't sell them in Spain oh bummer okay that's a bummer. That is a bummer. What did I miss? Was told normal is only a setting on the hair dryer. <laughs> yes, you're not wrong. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and just trim off these excess pieces. Yeah, I guess I've never been accused of being normal. All right. I'll tell you what, though, even during all this stuff, crafting has given me so much, um, it's been therapy. I don't know how y'all are feeling, but it has been some therapy. Hello from Canada. Hello, girl. How are you? Natalie, it's so good to see. You're not late. It's fine. It's all good. Okay, so we're going to do this. It's going to leave, a, a, I don't know if I want to leave the whole little border if I'm going to trim that down. I haven't totally decided. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on there. And then we'll just keep moving. All right. Normal is overrated. I think my husband and I talked about that one time, like we were both closet nerds, you know, you have to be cool while you're in school, right? <laughs> and now we're like, whatever. Oh, you are. Thank you. You know, sometimes I just have these ideas in my head and sometimes they actually turn out. This one looks like it is. One thing I've noticed that with this die, though, if you do have issues with it, getting it in there straight, because it is um, kind of delicate, you can use your negative piece and that will help you to kind of get it straight if that is an issue. James, thank you for the super chat. You are awesome. I appreciate that. Crafting is my therapy. Yes, I got one too, but mine has a Kraken on it, I think. Or no, it's a Cthulhu. It has a Cthulhu on it. I can take you to coffee. <laughs> That's right, and we will be doing that. So I can't decide. I might let you all vote. I know my hubby's the best. Do you want me to, do you think I should trim down the outside edge or do you think I should leave it? It just kind of frames things up a little bit. What do you think? We'll just let our bear sit there. 
He is the sweetest. And I'll put a couple of these around. Hmm. Maybe I'll leave one for the inside. Dine out, right? Yes, that would be fun too. I sh I can't say anything. My husband's been doing all the cooking, <laughs> which is very different because it never was the case. Um, I have a PayPal link down below. Thanks. I, I know, aren't they adorable? I have a PayPal link down below. It actually just says if you want to tip the artist. It's at the very bottom of the page. Um, leave it? Okay. I will. Uh, but yeah, it's at the very bottom of the page. Now I need to come up with a sentiment here. Let's see what our sentiments are. Okay. Our sentiments are... Oh, that's easy. We're going to do blessed to be your friend. Okay. You think trim, Beth. You think trim. Carol thinks leave it. I know. To trim or not to trim. Or only trimming the trees. Well, that was a thought too. Hmm. Cut it down and put pattern paper behind, maybe? I could do that. I have pattern paper that's long enough. Y'all are having some great ideas. Cut it down. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, let's cut it down. If I don't like it, maybe I can find a way to shimmy it back on there. Okay. All right. So the guillotine trimmer is really good for this because you can kind of line that up and work along the line. Oh, that worked great. Okay. Thank you, Mary. Thank you so much. Time to make it rain. <laughs> you people are amazing. All right, that one. Okay, so it did chew it a little bit because I do have quite a few layers on there. But now that I have a marked spot, I'm going to go ahead and trim it anyway. Thank you very much, Mary. I appreciate that. Okay, so we are doing the trimming. Let's see if I can get this one to work. This is another side that is... Yeah, okay, so... I'm going to do that with my other trimmer. Sometimes the guillotine is... Okay, got to run. Thank you. It's so good to see you. I'm so glad you were here. I get it. All right. So, oops, sorry, we're not in the shot. Like it better trimmed? Yeah, I think you're right. Okay, so let's... Yeah, that actually even worked better than than the guillotine trimmer, believe it or not. So let's do that on this one too. And I like this because I can line that up really easily too. Let's see. Actually, this one might be better using the guillotine trimmer. Okay, no, we did it. We did it. Oh, I like that. Okay, all right. I think it looks good both ways, but this is cool. Okay, so let's get our card base ready. I already have that cut too. So I'm gonna have to run here in about 10 minutes. Keep Cassie off the pole. <laughs> yes, we talked about that last week. You do not want me anywhere near a pole. I will hurt myself. Even, you know, whatever the case, yeah, I will hurt myself. So no poles for Cassie. Hmm? You're right, it is. I couldn't agree more. It's definitely easier to do that. Okay. And if you saw that on Trinity Stamps, you know this tool is like my favorite of theirs. So <laughs> keep me off the pole. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so that's going to have a nice border. I don't know if I have pattern paper that would match this very well. Hmm. But let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment. I'm going to use, I've got some scraps over here, so I'm going to use the scrap. Use what you got. Looks better, I can admit. No, you weren't wrong. You were not wrong, because I was willing to keep it there too, Carol. No way. Love it. I think it could have worked either way, honestly. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this one definitely could have gone either way. All right, grab out that guillotine trimmer again. There isn't wrong in creativity, I believe. You're right. Just new opportunities. That is correct. Definitely agree with your statement. All right. 
sorry if I'm kind of off the screen. I am so interested in what y'all are saying, and I hope oh, you like the white border. Yeah, I think I think that does look pretty good. I hope that I am not screwing this up, but I, I hope I'm catching everybody's what they're saying. Okay, so before I attach that, let's put down our sentiment. You could use some foam tape on this. Yes, character. I got plenty of character, that's for sure. In crafts, in life. <laughs> okay, we're going to get this little guy down. All right. And then we'll get our little, we'll put a couple of these in there. Put those behind because they should be, right? Mm. Oh, I should have moved him over just a smidge. But you know what? It is what it is. If I tear that off. Thank you, Mariska. They are really cute, right? Nancy, just joining in and snacking on some nachos. Oh my gosh. Oh, your son made nachos. That sounds incredible. I would tear up some nachos right now, Nancy. Tear them up. All right, before I do anything, let's just go ahead and put, I wonder if I could piece these together. Let's see, maybe we could piece, oh, I glued those together. We could piece these together to make a different tree. What do you think? I think we could. I think we're going to. I think we're going to. And let's put it on this side because, and when you're putting things on the inside, if you're gonna go, just try to go right up, not right on the edge, but close to the edge. Because otherwise, um, you won't be able to close your card as easily. Look at that. No one's the wiser. <laughs> I'd love to, Nancy. I would love to. All right, we're gonna trim off that excess. All right, I will not be doing, just to let y'all know, a live for the next couple weeks. I've got in-laws in town after this week. And um, yeah, and don't overthink it. Yes, nachos sound divine. Yeah, if I didn't have to make them. You're right, and that's probably why I won't have nachos for a while, because I don't want to make them. All right. And then we'll put our other little mushroom in here too. There we go. I could put another sentiment in there, but I'm probably not going to. And let's make sure that's good. All right. Yeah, thank you, Mariska. I don't know why I started doing it. I think it's because one time I just had overstamped a bunch of stuff and I wasn't sure how I was going to use it. And I thought, why don't I use it on the inside? And then I just couldn't stop doing it. And I'm glad you're doing it too. It really just adds like this extra element to the card that so there we have it okay that's why you're eating them because someone else made them right okay i don't know i feel like we're done yeah tracy thank you it's fun i think we are done friends Thank you. I'm excited to see them. It should be a lot of fun. I know they are coming to see my husband and my daughter. Of course, they're coming to see me too, but, um, you know, it's their son. They miss their son. So, um, th yeah, they're going to be in town. So it's going to be probably th three weeks before I'm actually on live again. Uh, where is the ergonomic bone folder from? That's from Trinity Stamps. Thanks, Simon throw some craft supplies out on the table and tell the in-laws to have at it. Oh, wouldn't that be fun, Mary? Oh my gosh, it would be hilarious. I think my father-in-law would have a heck of a time with that. He would enjoy it. I'm glad you did, Simon. That was a treat for everybody I know. They came to see me and they got, they got a star. They got you, so. Good, Janet. Thanks. Thanks, Mary and Yvonne. I appreciate that. Slimline cards are fun. Thank you, Mick. Thank you, Natalie. Big old heart back to you, girl. All right, so I'm going to go ahead because we're going to go look at some homes. I'm so excited. Maybe I'll have another craft room or like a bigger craft room. Not that this isn't great, but I'm super excited. So, all right, guys, I will keep checking out my community page. I will let you know when I'm going to have another live. 
and um, yeah, there's going to be still plenty going on on my channel. So I'm trying to prepare way ahead of time. Got some Simon products to be using for sure. Simon Hurley Create. So keep an eye out for those new things too. I can't wait to ink those up. But um, all right, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. And I will see you very soon in another video. Bye, everybody.